Welcome again to Devotion and Prayer with the devotional Prepare the Way by Joe Ingelkemeyer. Today's reading is February the 26th, coming in his name. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 13 and 14. During the precious instruction given to the disciples, by Christ just hours before he was crucified, he repeatedly mentioned the privilege of our coming to the Father in his name, and our right to pray in his name. But what does it mean to pray in the name of Christ? Note the following. To pray in Christ's name means much. It means that we are, it means that we are to accept his character, manifest his spirit, and work his works. The Desire of Age is page 668. How is it that you accept his character? Isn't it through faith in his righteousness? Notice this beautiful explanation. In Christ's name, his followers are to stand before God. Through the value of the sacrifice made for them, they are of value in the Lord's sight. Because of the imputed righteousness of Christ, they are accounted precious. For Christ's sake, the Lord pardons those that fear him. He does not see in them the vileness of the sinner. He recognizes in them the likeness of his Son, in whom they believe. Desire of Ages, page 667. Power in prayer is directly related to the confidence that comes from possessing the gifts of Christ's righteousness. Then we know as we come to the Lord with our request that he does not see in us the vileness of the sinner, Instead, he recognizes in us the likeness of his Son. Realizing this, we are able to come boldly, Hebrews 4.16, with our request. We are invited to expect large things. This expecting large things, this coming to God with the very highest demands, is possible because of the confidence we can have in his righteousness. And how do we receive that righteousness? The righteousness, of God is, the righteousness of God is embodied in Christ. We receive righteousness by receiving Him. Thoughts from the Mount of Blessing, page 18. It is, it is as you have this experience that God will be able to use you. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. John 14, 13, and 14. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we praise you for being God. Praise you for being Creator, King, Lord, Alpha Omega. The one who knows all things. We praise Christ for being our Savior, our brother, our King, our Redeemer, our Lamb slain, slain from the foundation of the world, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. We praise the Holy Spirit for being our Spirit of Truth, our Comforter. Lord, we confess that we are sinners, fallen, feeble, mortal. But we thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for the sacrifice of Christ on our behalf, that we can have redemption and be reconnected with you. So we claim this, Lord. Forgive us and cleanse us. Send your Holy Spirit into us, that we may obey you, that we may reflect you. Lord, you gave us that wonderful blessing. Christ said, if we ask anything in his name, it will be done. Of course, this lines with praying according to his will. But he gave us what we call a blank check. That as long as it is his will, it will be done. It means when we started the prayers, and we started to pray for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. That was his will, so it will be done. When we prayed for a love for the word, it was God's will, so it will be done. When we prayed for the ability to pray in the morning, to pray in the evening, 7 a.m., 7 p.m. It was his will. It will be done. When we prayed for love, forgiveness, 
not grudging his will, it will be done. When we prayed for to forget, it will be done. When we prayed for victories, it will be done. When we prayed for our diet, our appetite, that will be done. When we prayed for your counsel to be practical, to know exactly to dress the way you want to dress, to glorify you, that will be done. When we prayed for unity among the brethren, for the church to come together in love, to have our own second experience or our own experience, a second one like Pentecost, that will be done. Why? Because every time we pray, Lord, we end by saying, in the name of Jesus. We thank you on the merits of Jesus. We pray, realizing it's not because of us. It is because Christ is right now in heaven before you, presenting to you his merits, his good deeds, his righteousness, his sinless life, revealing that to you and saying, this is his offering for us to go with our prayers to have these prayers answered because these people are praying in his name. Lord, we thank you for this. This is a guaranteed access. We can now boldly come before you and we can write this blank check because Christ says, I will cash it. Everything that he has done has been done. All we have to do is accept it. We thank you, Lord, for these blessings. Help us even realize the wonderful the wealth the expanse how great a blessing this is that we can pray according to your will which means for your glory to reveal you to bring sin to an end that you can come for us not for selfish gain but for you when we pray for your glory for your work to be done it is guaranteed to be done when we pray this humbly turning away from sin confessing our sins, asking for the Holy Spirit to live in us, and we pray for your will to be done. It is a guaranteed answer every time. We thank you for this, Lord. So we claim all these prayers we've been praying so far. We claim them once again. We hold on to them. We hold on to them in faith and for an increase in faith. But we thank you for the blessing of Jesus. We thank you for the blessing of being able to pray in the name of Jesus. We thank you that when we pray, when we commune with you, you do not see us at all. You simply see Jesus. May this always be the case, Lord. Cover us with the righteousness of Christ, that people will only see Jesus, that you, most importantly, will only see Jesus when you look at us. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen.